I uh, have been getting a bunch of magazine, magazines in the mail lately that I haven't subscribed to and I've confirmed I'm not getting charged for. In any case, one of them is Outside Magazine, which I hadn't even heard of. And I got the December 2012 issue over the weekend, and I read this really good article called Honey Stinger by Dean Kippers. And it's, it's fascinating. It's about how uh, over recent years, the FBI, I have no idea why we have a picture of Rick Santorum up right now. I have no, I, I'm going to be completely honest, Lewis, I have no idea. I'm not the one in control of it what has happens nothing on to the do with this behind story. us. But I'm going to proceed. Okay. Maybe we can get the, a, a better picture put up there about the story. Um, we, the, the article is about how there's been an FBI focus on so-called eco-terrorist people who try to destroy different sites that are, you know, in protest of either animal rights or, or environmental, so on and so forth. The FBI has set up a lot of, a, a lot of systems to keep an eye on these people. This article outlines the story of an 18-year-old woman called Anna, which is a cover name, who was basically a, an informant for the FBI who got involved with a group of so-called eco-terrorists or individuals who were suspected of being involved in eco-terrorism. And the article is fascinating because one of the individuals involved, Eric McDavid, and is now doing 20 years of jail time for thinking about and allegedly doing the early stage planning for an eco-terrorist attack, and I use that term loosely, that, as you read the article, really seems to have been something he only thought of because of the FBI informant planting the seeds and encouraging him to do. Now, as the I encourage you to get the article and read it. As the trial went on, the argument that the prosecution made was, listen, this kid, this Eric McDavid, was predisposed to want to do this stuff, and he merely got the specific idea to carry it out because of the people he was hanging around, one of which was this undercover FBI person. However, when you actually read it, I don't think that's the case. I think this is really a case of entrapment and the FBI really wasting resources to create the idea of committing a crime and someone who otherwise would have done really nothing, which is mo what most of these eco-terrorist act activists do is they go to rallies and they think about stuff. They never really do anything. And it's fa a fascinating read because it, the FBI, I, I, if this is one example, certainly there are others where they are creating someone having the idea to do something and then arresting them and ignoring the people that are actually going to carry stuff out. Right. Uh, could you argue that by doing so, they are deterring other would-be eco-terrorists from, uh, from doing illegal activities? I don't know. That, that's, that's a good question. In other words, well, hearing that this guy got 20 years in prison for something that he was basically uh, 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 suggested into doing right. by an FBI informant deter others, I really don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. I don't, I don't condone this. I, it sounds ridiculous to me, uh, but just a question. Check out the story. It's called Honey Stinger, and it's in the December 2012 issue of Outside Magazine.